Hello, and welcome from JFK's Terminal 4. Since Terminal 4 is quite the regular in my aviation trip reports these days, I'm not going to bother reviewing it as I have done that in many other videos. Now that we are past security and the airplane is in sight, let's take a quick look at the route we'll be taking across the Atlantic today. Our flight will start at JFK's Terminal 4. From there, after takeoff, we'll skim around the New England coastline and across the Upper Atlantic. Then we'll fly over Ireland and the United Kingdom before going over a bit of France the Benelux region and into Germany as we descend into Frankfurt. Alright guys, welcome on board Singapore Airlines' premium economy class. Let's take a quick seat tour. So obviously, this being premium economy as compared to economy, the legroom is significantly better. There is also a small footrest, although that does actually get in the way of the legroom a bit, which is kind of a downside. Above that is a very hefty seat back pocket containing the very nice complimentary headphones that sadly you cannot keep after the journey, but are still a nice addition. In the seat back pocket as well is the safety manual for the aircraft and a little directory about the in-flight Wi-Fi as well as a small magazine. There, there is a very nice and big in-flight entertainment screen as well as a USB port to charge your phone. Between each seat, there is a big console that features an armrest that folds open to reveal the tray table. There is also a small area where drinks can be stored. However, when you first arrive at your seat, it will be occupied by the complimentary bottle of water served for each passenger. This is also where you can find the recline controls for the seat, as well as the controller for the in-flight entertainment. The seat recline itself I found to be pretty decent. On the back of the seat is also where you can find the pretty stylish looking reading light. Despite the seat's plush outer look, I found them to actually be a bit on the firmer side, so needless to say that was a bit disappointing. Then again, this is a airline premium economy class, so expectations aren't that high here. Lastly, premium economy passengers get this very nice, big, and plush orange pillow. as well as a decently comfortable gray blanket.
overall, not a bad first impression. Good job, Singapore Airlines. And on a journey through Singapore. Table is stowed away. Put the back of your seat upright and keep your shoes on. Before we take off, stow your luggage under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartments. Infants should be lifted from the bassinet and secured with an infant. Count the rows of seats to the closest exit in front and behind you. In the unlikely event of an emergency, or when you hear the command, brace. Right after takeoff, there is a complimentary snack service, consisting of these peas and crackers, as well as a drink. I opted for a Coke to wake me up. The peas and crackers were delicious, probably one of the best of one of these assorted snacks I've had on a plane.
Next, let's take a quick look at the IFE system, or in-flight entertainment system, on board this aircraft. As for movies, I am always impressed by Singapore Airlines' entertainment network. It never fails to disappoint me, and I'm always entertained. I also think that their UI isn't that buggy. There is a bit of lag, as you can see, moving across the screen from topic to topic, but overall, it's not that bad. Do note there is also a controller that you can use to control the touchscreen with. However, I didn't opt to use it, and I also found the design to be really annoying, as I remember every time I would lean into my right armrest, I would accidentally trigger a key on the controller itself, and it would do something to the screen. That minor problem aside though, the IFE worked pretty decently throughout the flight, and I think it's pretty good as far as airline in-flight entertainment systems go. The Voyager 3D map software is also on this in-flight entertainment system, and it gives you precise in-flight data like altitude, flight speed, ground speed, outside temperature, etc., and all other things that you might want to know when you're on the when you're in flight.
So, what are my final thoughts on premium economy on board Singapore Airlines? While the seats themselves were definitely more comfy and the extra legroom was a nice touch, there is nothing that really sets premium economy apart from economy. The only exceptions are price, seat comfort, and the ability to use the book the cook feature, which I did not use. The price is where it does get interesting, at least for me. The flight round trip costed around 3,000 US dollars and it was somehow $300 cheaper than if I flew economy both ways. I have no idea if it was a system glitch or if it was just right timing, but I took the chance. All in all, I'd recommend premium economy if you get a good price for it. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. This is the 4905 here and I will see you next time.